Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Dragon Quest The Adventure of Die on Episode 20 or Dragon Quest Dino Daibokan, which is on Episode 20. Anyways, this episode right here was actually, was actually really nice and I'm looking forward to next episode and the ones after that and looks like to me things are about to get possibly hectic but we'll have to see. So if anything else, let's just get this started. Okay, okay, okay. We had to that Mr. Vern ends up bringing Hadler back to his throne room and it looks like to me Hadler managed to survive thanks to Mr. Vern's dark aura magic, you know? We get to know that this power that Hadler has is like even though he dies, he, he will somehow be revived and his body will get stronger and stronger, you know? I guess that's like a... Something that's like a nice gift for now, but I guess like it seems like bad news for the time being because depending on the next time when they actually when Dai and his friends ends up fighting um Hadler, they may have a harder time or something, you know. But whatever the case may be, we go to the fight, we go back to the fight with um Flazard, who apparently is already losing form because since his core got slashed, you know, we have to it that he's starting to fall apart, like has half. His half flame and half ice is already starting to distort or lose unbalance, you know? By that time, we have to it that um, Pop ends up using his power of of a fire spell, Sizzle whatsoever, to like melt or destroy the other half of ice of Flazard, you know? And Flazard is already at his mercy, is already at their mercy, and we see to it that um, Mr. Vern shows up and offers a, offers a choice to Flazard, you know? Go into this armor and you may and you will be very strong. You'll be unrivaled. Although Flaza doesn't like the idea, he decides to take up the offer anyway. By that time, we have to it that he takes on the armor and he effort, effortlessly defeat effortlessly pushes back Crocodile and the old man war, Paprika Warrior. And we see to it that he ends up effortlessly beating out um Hyunkuro and freaking like um Pop. As for Dai, he therefore challenges Flazard head on, telling Mom to stay out of it as he will handle it. As he will handle it, you know. As the episode continues on, Dai effortlessly dodges every single attack from Flazard himself. Even Pop is wondering how the heck is he able to do that. And Hinkuro explains to Pop that by obtaining the air slash, Dai, Dai has completed his Alvin style sword technique. Dai is subconsciously understands its, its destructive power and is able to able to feel and know where the attacks of Flazard's attacks are coming from, you know. Eventually, um, we have to it that Dai prepares his, prepares the Avant Strauss technique and he ends up cutting Flazard, Flazard and his armor into pieces easily. By that time, Mr. Vern is really surprised to see Dai's power like this and he looks at Flazard and Flazard asks for another shot. But unfortunately for Mr. Vern, he doesn't take any other chances and he ends up destroying Flazard once and for all and disappears. And we have to it that Pop is really shocked to see how he do how he would do such a thing. But I guess you could you could say Mr. Vern is might might be considered one of the few dangerous Dark Legion commanders right now because his power alone is to measure. It looks like to me he was measuring Dai's ability, you know. And by that time, whatever the case he has for Dai next time, it's gonna be a little dangerous. Guess we're about to find out, right? But we see to it that. Leon, Leon, Leona Hime is apparently still in ice and unfortunately unable to be breaking out of, you know? We have to it that Pop tries to use Sizzle to melt it down, but unfortunately for him, he ran out of magic power and he's really out of stamina. Although Mom suggests that they have another shot by using a charging up a bullet with another Sizzle as there might be a chance to save her. But at the same time though, it may not be something that it can handle. Like, it can handle one spell, that's for sure, but if it ch handles more than two, it could break. Although Dai says, let me give it a try, you know? He ends up using his dragon, he ends up using his power that he has on his forehead, charges up with Sizzle, gives it to Mam, she blows it, blows up, blows her gun to pieces and blows it and manages to free Leona from her icy prison, you know? Luckily, that was a good shot and good chance to do so. And we see to it that, um, that Dai is really happy to see Leona, and Leona gets really upset about this because she goes like, "Hello, can you can you freaking like read the atmosphere? It's supposed to be the emotional reunion between the rescuer and her freaking captor, okay? What the heck's wrong with you? And I I can't help but keep loving the voice actor, okay? My gosh, she is so good at doing these 
voice roles so greatly, you know? Sometimes you just don't know when she's... When it's a girl voice or a boy voice. And sometimes she has this thing of, like, being sarcastic. Which is really, really great. I call her one of the most talented voice actresses of all time. I'm calling that. <laughs> call me Mr. Local Fanboy. But that's who... <coughs> that's who I am. <laughs> that aside, um... We have to it that Hinkuru confesses to Leona that he's the one that destroyed her kingdom and country and asked to be judged. If you wish to, if you wish to execute me, I shall accept. I shall accept. Therefore, Leona decides to give her sentence to Hinkuru and says, "Look, I'll give you your judgment as you requested. You will spend the rest of your life serving your duty as a disciple of Avan, and you never and you must never disperse yourself for, or becoming lost in your past and cease from to moving forward. You know." And make sure, like, um, you'll risk your life to fight for friendship, justice, and love for all those out there. You hear me? And therefore, Hyunkuru ends up re ends up being spared from being executed. Somehow, might be a little happy to see that he is told to like atone for what he's done. You know, etc. And we had to it that um, what's his name again? Um, that mighty grand sorcery mage whatsoever is actually see is actually really surprised to see Leona being a more magnificent leader than she was bef than anyone else. And therefore, although I will say this, that her father did perish during the Dark Army invasion, you know, that really sucked very badly. But whatever the case may be, um, the grand mage is actually surprised to see Leona, Leona grow greatly. As for Crocodile, he is given a nice time of drinks here and there, and... We have to it that Mom and Leona ends up having a small talk with each other, and Matarif. Matarif it tends to be a little bit loose here and there, etc. But we see to it that Leona tells Mom, like, don't call, just call me Le Leona and not Princess, unless you want me to call you Miss Mom and of or Mom Son instead, you know. And then Mom's like, please don't, please don't, you know, etc. And we see to it that Crocodile and Hugh Crew decides to go off to the dark fortress of the dark army so they could. Keep their eye or spy on them, you know. Although mom, mom really thinks that we should, we all should go together. But Hinkuru and Crocod Crocodile really suggest that mom don't worry about us. Just trust us in this, okay? We'll be back before you know it. And we see to it that she t does send them off, saying, "Hey, be careful, okay?" Etc. Then we get to see a scene with like, um, what's his name? Um, ba Baron, the Dragon Legion guy. He, I thought the freaking like um country that he's taking on would. Cop would be a little troubling, but unfortunate. But fortunately for the Dark Army, this guy literally took down the freaking Carl Kingdom with a dozen of powerful knights, and he did it in about five days. That's almost like a week, man. Even with this Dragon Legion, and let's be, let's all remember this, okay? Dragons and Dragon Quest, especially the games, are considered to be a big symbol of power, okay? When you have a certain dragon, whether in Dragon Warrior, Mon Dragon Warrior Monsters or Dragon Quest, they're very terrifyingly strong if you train them right. And guarantee, Baron of the Dragon Legion, whatever his name is, um, he freaking took down the Carl Kingdom in five days. And the dragons that are like burning away the wasteland right now, I highly doubt that's really the strongest dragons right now. <laughs> And we see too that Zabara ends up talking to Baron about Dai, you know. But unfortunately, Zab Zabara ends up telling Baron that there's a boy with a strange power, you know. And it always appears onto his forehead of a crest, you know. And we have to it that Baron's like, excuse me, what did you just freaking say? Like, what kind of power is that? Is it Does it resemble, like, a dragon, a face of a dragon? And Zabara's like, well, yeah, it resembles, now that, you now that I think about it, it does resemble that, it does seem very similar, you know, that kind of thing. And Baron looks so, so mad right now. He says, Hadler, freaking hell, I know what you're up to, dang it, curse you. And he ends up being in totally enraged when he heard about, like, um, about Dai having some kind of Dragon Quest crest forehead symbol of power, you know. Which apparently might be related to Baron himself, possibly. Because the way I look at it, you know, whatever the case may be, um... Yeah, preview next episode. It looks like to me things are about things are about to get a little. Looks like people are still. Looks like to me it'll be another training episode, which is really nice because we get to see mom die and possibly pop training to get stronger. While we see, while while 
while there are some things here and there that we see Pop training to increase his fire, his magic spells, we have to it that we have to it that freaking like uh, Mom's trying to figure out since her magic bullet gun is already broken, she's trying to make a decision right now. You know, whatever the case may be, we'll have to find out. But um, we'll see. Like uh, unfortunate, and then next episode it looks like to me something called of a Kilvern the Reaper appears before the Dark Commander Hadler, and it looks like to me. He's about to take action very soon. Not to mention, like, a dark fortress somewhere in the Sovereign Rock Castle is about to show its true form. Whatever the case may be, all I know is, is like, um, things are starting to look pretty... Things are about to... Things are about to look like it's gonna get really hectic for our friends because... Looks like some Reaper-like guy is about to showing up and it looks like to me the fortress is about to, like, make make progression to transform whatsoever so yeah anyways um this episode right here just is the is a continuing fight against flazard and die ends up using alvon strauss they end up saving leona hime leona hime ends up having to like um give judgment to hinkuru to serve your do your duty as a disciple of alvon you know and you know hinkuru and crocodile decides to go to the dark fortress to be spies to figure out what the next what's the enemy what the enemy's next move is you know and, you know, yeah, pretty much like, um, and then, you know, Baron, you know, the one who took down the freaking Carl Kingdom, he did it in five days, and he found out about Dai's power of a, of a, of a crest that's like the symbol of a dragon on his forehead, and this enrages him so much, so, looks like to me there might be something troubling along the way, so, until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video, I'm Alphazero, have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright, peace out, Bye bye Toot toot!